Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. Before we start things off, happy birthday to Milane. And yeah, it's her birthday, but sadly to say, today's video is all about Kanami. <laughs> so let's start things off awkwardly by taking a look at Milane's birthday step up gacha and see what's so special about it. So immediately you can tell from the banner, well, there is a brand new plate among all the plates within her gacha for her birthday. So yeah, it's this one. It's adorable because you have a cute chibi gumlin at the back and then we've got uh, guvava cookies. Um, I'm not so sure how guvava would feel about it if Milane takes a bite out of it. So let's take a look at her birthday exclusive episode plate. It is just one plate out of the whole mess of other Milane plates within this gacha. So immediately off the bat, I can recommend you this. Stay away from this gacha. <laughs> Unless you're a huge Milane fan, I, I can't stop you. Go ahead and get this plate because it is actually a pretty good plate. So total of 3875, pretty well balanced stats all around. Take note of who else is equipable with this plate. Surprisingly Basara. Hey. <laughs> and yeah, so center skill units total is boosted by 30% up. It's not the best percentage we've seen, but still decent nonetheless. So let's move on. Active skill A rank? Huh. So for 15 seconds, you will have an easier time tapping notes. Life skill, combo bonus. Okay, so Milane gets her own version of this combo bonus life skill. And if you guys are Millennium fans, you definitely know this is a first for her. And if you guys are lacking in uh, episode plates within the pink series or pink element or the heart element whatever you want to call it by you definitely want to have this within your collection because it has a very good life skill that helps with high score achievements so yeah so let's take a look at the last page to see whether it makes this plate even better so oh okay so it's just a pretty good high tiering high scoring plate I guess so it is definitely not god tier because it is not a seven star but it is pretty decent you know just that it's lacking a special note attached to it so yeah so take note the brand new plate comes with costume points from Elaine's crossover um, friend costume so yeah um, if you guys have not unlocked her costume for her crossover version you know, this is the time to do so because now there are two plates in here that have, well, the crossover costume points. So yeah, so with that said, I am moving past Milane's birthday step up gacha because, well, I've already unlocked her costume. I don't really need her exclusive birthday episode plate. Eventually, it might come around again somehow or other. Maybe, maybe next year again during her birthday. <laughs> But still, it's not a very, um, I would say, essential plate that you might want to focus on obtaining. It's just a pretty much a, I would say, a fan service episode plate with beautiful illustrations. So yeah, if you guys want to see the pre-evolved version, you know the parents are in the, in the holographic image shown to her. So that's pretty endearing. Yeah, but they evolve. That image is the most important one, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the main topic of the day, which is Kaname's brand new plate. Alright, so personally myself, I think the pre-evolved image looks a lot nicer, you know, with Kaname doing the heart sign. Yeah, the evolved version of the plate um, is, I don't know, it just lacks something. But still, it is pretty nicely illustrated you know with all the sweets at the back you know that kind of stuff so yeah all right let's take a look at kaname's episode plate and break it down to decide you know should you actually buy more singing stones to obtain her plate um aside from the fact that her costume is only obtainable through this gacha 
<laughs> so for Kaname fans, I I feel your pain. I I know how it's like when your beloved diva has a costume that's only obtainable by tossing in money, and when your luck is crap, you know, it it gets really desperate for yourself. Uh, you know whether you can afford to buy more stones or where can you dig up more stones from, especially if you're a free to play player. So, uh, okay, <laughs> let's do this. Three thousand eight hundred and seventy-eight, pretty good total score, making it a pretty high tier episode plate. Um, focusing a bit more on soul, yeah, and a bit, uh, well, a bit lower on voice, and of course the standard usual amount for charm. Center scale total up, so it's it's looking a bit similar to Milane's birthday plate though. <laughs> Units total thirty percent up. Take note of well the three other divas, and of course moving on. Oh, it has an S rank active skill. Okay, it makes it a lot better than Milane's <laughs> birthday plate. <laughs> Milane, I'm sorry, Dana. What are you doing to Milane? Milane doesn't deserve to be treated like this. Okay, so. For 20 seconds, you know, I have an easier time tapping notes immediately by 5 seconds more is better than Milane's plate. Alright, so score and damage. Huh! Well, it's not the best life skill, you know, for high score purposes, but I guess Milane takes the cake for this life skill. So, <laughs> uh, Kaname's plate isn't all too bad, you know, it has a pretty good active skill, but it is not meant for high score purposes, it's more to practicing songs, you know, that kind of stuff. So, I guess, I don't know, I think Melane's is actually looking better than Kanami's episode play. But, you know, it's it's each their own. I mean, if you're a Melane fan, go for Melane's play. If you're Kanami's fan, you know, you're supposed to be here. Alright, so, score and damage, if you're still not familiar with it, uh, what are you doing? Go watch my previous videos. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the last page. So sadly to say, just like Milane, um, there is no special notes attached to it. So that's kind of a bummer. So, but both plates are within the same tier category because, well, they have very good total scores. They have pretty good skills on the episode plate. So, yeah, really depends on which one you really want to pull. Um, of course, do take note, Milane's birthday step up gacha is a step up gacha. If you are still not familiar with step up gachas, what are you doing? Once again, go watch my previous videos. <laughs> uh, okay, so step up gachas, yes, you know, you have that confirmed 5 star episode plate pull on the 4th step. So that's pretty fantastic. But of course, that means you have to toss a total of 1,700 singing stones, you know, just to get to step 4. So, that's pretty painful. So, yeah, as you can see here, the screen breezes through and it shows you some of the exclusive episode plates that have been Kanami's Gacha itself. So, with all that said, I am just going to go with Kanami's Gacha just to try to unlock her costume. Now, if you guys watched my last Gacha video regarding Freya's, um, well, Valentine costume, or rather the Wakure Ga Uragira Nai costume. Uh, I managed to pull her 6 star plate. So, my luck is definitely drained. And it has been showing because my free gacha pulls, uh, apparently, I've already pulled mine. And of course, I recently did the Super Galaxy, or rather the Super Dimension gacha, which is this one. Uh, I used up 10 tickets and all the boxes came out normal, silver, you know. So I hope the last 20 plate pools have really kind of drained my bad luck away. So I'm hoping that Kaname's gacha will end up being slightly better, you know, at least with some red boxes and hopefully a chance of a rainbow box. You know, so eh, it's always good to hope, you know and look at the positive side of things. If it doesn't, well, as long as you give me a brand new episode plate that comes with costume points with it, I'm okay. Because eventually I can unlock it via episode ops. So here we go guys, we did get to see a bit of loading there, so 
That's kind of a good sign. Kinda. Oh. Okay, so the bad luck continues on. I mean, I do have enough singing stones to go for... Ooh! <laughs> I mean, I do have enough singing stones to go for a second round. But, I don't know, is it needed now that I see a rainbow box? <laughs> oh! Right off the bat. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow! Okay, so I guess I'm getting a lot of love during this Valentine's Day <laughs> from Freya and Kanami? Huh. <laughs> I mean, they aren't exactly my best girls in Macross Delta, but you know, love is still love, so I appreciate the, the love. You guys can tell I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy and that's why I'm not touching the screen to skip the animations. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, two in a row, now that's pretty rare. I mean like two gacha videos in a row that I actually get the main plate. Wow! Hey, there we go. So, it is possible for me to unlock Kaname's costume right now. Because if you guys have been working hard during the previous event for the New Year's, uh, you should have gotten enough New Year's packets to exchange for a rare star, you know. So I do have a rare star on hand, so I can actually evolve Kaname's plate right now. So let's do that, I guess. Um, I mean, I could be using it to, you know, rarity up a more powerful episode plate for high score purposes, but I mean. I'm a YouTuber, let's make things interesting, you know, I, I don't mind struggling for you guys. So here we go, let's go unlock Kaname's costume right here and now. So this should bring us to the halfway mark. Uh, oh, more than halfway. Wow, so getting a 5 star plate gives you quite a bit of points. Huh. I always thought it was less or close to half. I didn't expect it to be slightly more than half. Wow. Okay. Moving along. Here we go. Yeah, so there we go. I have the rep star. It's supposed to expire on the 30th of April. Huh. But, you know, it's, it's pretty exciting to see a new costume. And of course, with a new costume being added, I can finally do a a proper video with Kaname wearing the Uragira Nai costume alongside Freya. So yes, as usual guys, if you are following me on my Facebook YouTube page, I look forward to that video being uploaded later. Hey, so here we go, using up the Rare Up Star. So if you guys are not familiar with the Rare Up Star, uh, once again, I have tutorial videos for that. <laughs> go watch that if you want to learn about the mechanics of Utamek Cross. <laughs> And yes, this is how you rare up star an episode played live within a gacha video itself. So here we go. Ooh. And there we go. The notification that says I have enough points to unlock the costume right now. So let's do that very quickly. Okay. Alright, scroll all the way to the end. And that should do it. And there we go! So, Kaname's costume, or rather, bitter chocolate, or if you want to read it in Japanese, bita chocolate. <laughs> so, that's, yes, that's the costume's name. I mean, it, it, it's kind of sad that she gets bitter chocolate 
you know, considering how harsh Kaname's story is in my cross Delta, I don't know, bittersweet. Oh, oh, Dana, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, it hits me right in the Kokoro. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. What do you guys think about the episode plates within Milane's birthday step up? And of course, Kaname's. Uh, as usual, let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts and of course, let me know how do you guys do for your own personal polls. Leave a like to this video if you enjoyed the content and want to see more in the future. And of course, subscribe if you have not subscribed just yet. And of course, you know, share the video to all your friends who are starting out on the game. I don't know, or still playing. Uh, share the culture, I guess. Until then guys, see you guys soon. Bye!